Bishop from ChronicleT.com. I'm here with a new partner today. This is Lena Yost, one of our reporters here at the paper. Uh, it's been kind of a busy day, but definitely a feeling that it, it may be like a little lull. There's a, a little more calm going on as everybody's sort of adjusting to what might be the new normal for a little while. Um, so some of the things we're going to talk about today, we have information from the state, we have information at the county level, some information about the city level, and some information from the governor about surgeries. So let's get started. We'll talk about the numbers and where we are with cases right now. Yeah, updated as of March 17th around 2 p.m. In the state of Ohio, there are 67 cases. Um, that is 17 new cases from yesterday when there were 50. Um, four cases in Lorain County, that's only up one from yesterday. So I feel like that might be a good thing. Um, and in the U.S., there are 4,226 cases. So the other thing we had going on, we had some election news. Yes. Uh, it was kind of a chaotic night last night. Absolutely. Everybody's figured out we didn't vote today. Um, just kind of fill us in a little bit on that. Yeah, so late last night, around 10 p.m., um, the Ohio Department of Health Director, uh, Dr. Amy Acton, signed an order uh, ordering the polls to be closed. Um, there was a lot of questions today in the news conference with Governor Mike DeWine over the legality of that, whether she had the constitutional right to do that or not. That, I'm sure, will be sorted out in the coming weeks, maybe even months. Um, but DeWine said today that he felt that it was absolutely necessary for the health of for voters and for poll workers um, to keep them safe, you know, because you just never know um, who might have coronavirus and not even know it and show up and vote. So as of now, those are postponed. We don't have an exact date when Governor DeWine is suggesting June 2nd, but we will see how that shapes out. Uh, you can still request absentee ballots. Uh, you have until May 26th now to get an absentee ballot uh, to vote if you would like to. Very good. All right. Some of the other things brought up in the press conference today, the governor was talking about the uh, potential that daycare centers will be closing soon. So they're kind of floating that out there, kind of letting people know that you might want to start thinking about it. And it, it makes sense that that's one of the things that they've closed schools and colleges. So it would make sense that the next step would probably be daycare. So Yeah, but there's no doubt that would put parents in, in a pretty tough position, for sure. Absolutely. Um, some of the other stuff we had going on, uh, we have some other closings. Yeah, uh, there's Elyria City Hall announced yesterday that they would be closed to the public today. Um, they have some employees working from home. Some are still reporting, um, but it is closed to the public. Any services that anyone needs, they can call the certain departments and you will get help over the phone. Several county buildings closed today. Um, Lorain County Treasurer's Office closed. Lorain County Recorder's Office will close. But again, if you need help, you can still call. You can still do things electronically. Uh, you just cannot come into that building and, and get services in person. And the, uh, the one big thing that was still going on over at the county courthouse would be the Jacquez Ross murder trial. Um, as it stands right now, that's been put on hold. They ran into issues with witnesses not being able to come. And one of the expert witnesses actually is in quarantine right now as a result of the virus. So that's been a big change uh, in, in that case. They were going to try to keep going on. And, you know, once you start losing witnesses, then, then everything has to stop. Uh, the governor also had some stuff to say about elective surgeries. Yeah. So all non-essential surgeries are being postponed right now. Um, the only surgeries that will be allowed are those that will save a limb or an organ, um, anything that prevents the progression of, of a disease like cancer, um, prevents worsening sim symptoms, or it will save a life. Those are the only surgeries. They're just trying to free up as much space in the hospital as they can um, so that hospitals are not overcrowded, they're not overflowed, um, and also that they have equipment that is necessary. I know that they were asking for people to donate equipment like latex gloves, um, you know, from schools, anywhere that um, keeps those. So I know that they've been getting donations of that as well at hospitals. We've been hearing, you know, locally from uh, family members of some of the staff that, you know, they're all running, running into issues with masks already. So there's definitely, definitely going to be a problem with that. Um, Ohio has received $15 million from the federal government to help treat patients with COVID-19. And around 10 million of that will be going to local health departments uh, with the size of this, the communities up here in the northern part of the state. I imagine a good chunk of that will be coming this direction. Uh, also information from the Ohio State Dental Board. They're asking dentists to postpone routine hygiene appointments and non-emergency procedures. So things are going to, you know, this will keep going. You know, we'll still be getting little closures and, and kind of new guidance every day as we go through it. So it's been, uh, 
it's definitely been active on the cancellations. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so that's what we've got for today. Things are changing rapidly. We're trying to get this video out a little bit earlier tonight. So in the event of any kind of updates, we're going to go ahead and have them posted on our Facebook and websites. So just keep an eye out for us. And as usual, take care of those elderly neighbors, take care of yourselves and uh, everybody just be nice. Thanks.